One of the first line of treatments for hair fall is basically medicines such as minoxidil which is a topical solution and finasteride which is an oral pill. Minoxidil was first patented by Johnson & Johnson which is Pharmacia and Upjohn which later got taken over by Johnson & Janssen and is a patent was a patented product for almost 20 years. Once the patent restrictions were removed, Minoxidil has been produced all over the world with brand names as uh, different as uh, Ro Rogaine, uh, Mintop and many other such products. Now Minoxidil comes in various percentages, 2%, 5% and 10%. Minoxidil is supposed to work by increasing the blood flow to the hair follicles. It is applied as a solution either once or twice in the day and this causes hair growth because it increases blood flow and increases the nutrient flow to the hair follicles causing them to grow. Now minoxidil the challenge is that it can cause seborrheic dermatitis and it can cause scalp irritation and dandruff. The other challenge is in the patent application which was filed in the US it was shown in the clinical trials preceding that minoxidil causes hair growth in only 43% patients which means over half of the number of people may not respond to minoxidil at least in the clinical study and the people who do respond to minoxidil also it helps in slowing down the rate of hair fall but not necessarily increasing the rate of hair growth that is the challenge also the challenge with something like minoxidil is it will have to be used lifelong so provided you agree to use minoxidil lifelong, it's a good drug. We also use minoxidil in association with QR678 and in early cases of alopecia which do not need QR678. But the challenge is, you must remember, it has to be used regularly and lifelong. You cannot go ahead and use it for one or two months and then say it did not cause you benefits because the moment you stop using the minoxidil, there's a phenomenon called shedding by which you may lose even more hair and thereby give up on the benefits of minoxidil. Finasteride is also was a patented product which was produced by Merck and finasteride was available in the United States as a brand name called Propecia. Finasteride is used in one milligram tablets and these tablets can be given once a day. These tablets act by blocking DHT receptors. Dihydrotestosterone or DHT is one of the major reasons you have hair fall. And by blocking the DHT receptors, finasteride actually prevents hair from falling, especially in androgenetic alopecia. The problem with finasteride or the reason many people are worried with finasteride is that there have been reports of it causing sexual impotence and this is temporary. The thing to remember though is that temporary erectile impotence was seen in hardly 1-2% to of the patients in the FDA filing of finasteride or in the US FDA filing of finasteride. This is not something which occurs in every patient. Also the thing to remember is the US FDA filing studied 5 mg tablet strength of finasteride. We prescribe in India to most of our patients only the 1 mg strength therefore the chances are much lesser. But again with finasteride also, just like minoxidil, you need to take it regularly. Because if you don't take it regularly, hair fall will start occurring again. Also with finasteride like minoxidil, hair growth may not occur, only the rate of hair fall may be reduced. So these are the main medications that we use for hair fall. And these are the main medications which we prescribe to patients either by themselves or along with the QR678 in order to go ahead and reduce hair fall. The thing to remember is if you start treating your hair fall early, you may probably retain hair all your life provided you use the medicines regularly, diligently and in a disciplined manner.